<laughs> you know, we're just not gonna have a good hair day today. It's just gonna be one of those days. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. If you're new here, if you are not new here, welcome back. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am finally making my three universities in three years. So, let's just get on into it. Just keep watching if you are curious and want to know more. Okay, into the video. I guess I'm just gonna start right off from the beginning. Is this crooked? My senior year of high school, the plan was I was gonna go to the University of Alabama and try out for their cheer team and cheer and continue my cheerleading career there. As some of you might know, I was a competitive cheerleader and sideline cheerleader all throughout, all growing up and then throughout high school as well. And I was planning on continuing my cheerleading career in college. I even went up to Bama, did some of the clinics, and was set on cheering. In the spring semester of my senior year, I kind of just, I was on a super good all-star team and we came off a really good high. And I kind of was thinking about it and as hard as it was, I decided to end my cheerleading career there. It's really gonna make me emotional because that was my life. If you know me, you know cheer was my life. Um, why the f am I getting emotional? Literally, I was eat, sleep, eat, sleep, breathe, cheer, repeat. Is that what it is? Eat, sleep, cheer, repeat. I don't know. It was my life, whatever. So um, that was super hard for me to make the decision to stop cheering, but when I made that decision to no longer cheer in college, that was the only reason I was going to go to Bama was because I wanted to be on that cheer team because obviously their football team is insane and their cheerleading team is really good too. I was like, wait, I don't wanna just go to Bama and not cheer, so I don't really wanna go to Bama anymore. So at this point, it was like March, of my senior year of high school and I had to make kind of a quick decision. I only applied to a few schools besides Alabama because I was so set on going there to cheer. And so I ended up at FAU, Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton. I guess that's where this story begins, kind of. So that was my freshman year. I was there the whole entire year. I lived in a dorm with my sweet mate Lauren. Her and my hometown friends were like the only part that like kept me there I guess but yeah I just was not happy there everyone always asks me what did I not like about FAU and I've never been able to pinpoint it and this is gonna sound so stupid but the vibes were just not for me I don't know I really didn't like it and I just didn't feel like that was the place for me if that makes sense yeah that pretty much went on the whole year like obviously I still had fun with my friends but I j it just felt like it wasn't for me and I could not see myself spending four years there. I even went through recruitment there and I was in a sorority. Was in that for a few weeks and then dropped out when I knew I wanted to transfer my sophomore year. Yeah, so that was my freshman year. So that's when I decided, okay, I'm just gonna move back home. So USF, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go home for my sophomore year, work for my dad, save up some money, and you know commute back and forth from my classes and just live at home and see how I like it and like explore my options with different colleges for my junior and senior year. So I spent my sophomore year at home. That was nice for like the first semester and then I was like okay I want to like be on my own again and I want to be independent and I want to be on like a college campus again. End of fall semester sophomore year I was like okay I want to transfer. That's where I decided that I was going to be transferring to the third school, which is currently now UCF. I applied to UCF in like December. Actually, I don't know when I applied to UCF, but I applied to UCF, got in, and decided that I'm going to go to UCF fall 2020. Yeah, that's what I did. That's where I currently am. I'm at UCF, University of Central Florida. I never, ever, ever saw myself going here. I told so many people oh I would never go there like I don't want to be in Orlando all this stuff but I stand corrected I am obsessed with UCF I wish I was here since the beginning obviously but I'm grateful for all the lessons I've learned and people that I've met and experiences I've had going throughout all these universities and kind of getting the chance to like see like how all of these universities compare with each other that's been kind of cool I will say when I was at FAU my freshman year I didn't really think that transferring was an option for me just because, I don't know, I feel like I hold myself to like a pretty high standard and 
the thought of transferring in my head was not failure but like i don't really know how to explain it it makes sense in my head but it doesn't make sense when i say it out loud but basically i was looking at transferring my freshman year and moving back home i saw that as like a failure which is just not true at all there's no set in stone path that you have to take throughout life obviously clearly the normal thing to do is all four years at one university but if you're not happy you know it's not worth it who cares it's your life and i wasn't going to settle until i found where i felt like i was supposed to be so although that was hard bringing up the conversation of transferring my parents were like so you're not a failure like what come back home figure it out all this stuff it's completely normal blah 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 so once i talked to them i felt so much better about it obviously i moved back home honestly that was a blessing in disguise being able to move back home just because i was able to work a lot and be home for a year i mean i'm such a homebody it was nice but you know i was ready to transfer again and get out of the house that brings me to my junior year of college where i'm at ucf right now i'm so grateful for the opportunity that i've been able to transfer and go here something i want to touch on is i get quite a few dms on people asking me about the transfer process and how it was and i know it can be super intimidating but the transferring process is so easy and a transfer application for me was so much easier than my first application going into my freshman year of college so i don't know a lot of people ask me about that and it's literally not like it's so it's so easy i don't know i didn't know if i was gonna make this video just because i didn't think i could like turn it into a video because it's just kind of self-explanatory i transferred twice i've been to three different colleges i guess my advice for you is that if you're not happy at your school and you think that people are going to look at you differently just because you're going to transfer that's just you making ex an excuse for yourself and you have to do what makes you happy at the end of the day it's you that you have to deal with and live with and you just can't let other people determine your happiness life is just way too short life is too short to be held back by other people and you have to do what's right for yourself you have to follow your gut feeling if you know you are not in the right place make that change it'll be so worth it i promise you won't regret it like if you've even given it thought that means that your mind is on it and that's it's on your mind for a reason but yeah i mean i guess that's pretty much it um if you guys have any questions either send me a dm or comment down below your questions i'll be happy to answer them leave a book emoji don't forget to follow me on instagram if you want to become friends like this video if you like this video and subscribe to become a part of the family. I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.